Doc Milner returns to answer your question, Magnusite. As the Magnusite movement marches forward to one million subscribers, 102,000 strong. Now, Brother wrote me, he says, I have a request. Could you please do a video about why girls never answer the phone when you try to call them even after you manage to get their number? Short answer, she's really not interested. But let's see what the rest of your email says. Here's my situation. So about a month ago, I met this girl uh, that caught my attention named Christina uh, at an arcade bar on the north south of time, time, out of town. Too much info. She seemed like a really nice young lady who I could connect with, and to top it off, I found her to be very attractive. She agreed to exchange numbers with me, and I said, I said, could I call her? And... Uh, on any day or afternoon, but after a total of about six attempts uh, over a period of three weeks, I have heard nothing from Christina, not once. She ain't interested, cousin. Uh, I just tr I'm just trying to figure out the mystery as to why some broads never answer the goddamn phone <laughs> after you succeed in exchange of numbers, as this greatly irritates the fuck out of me. It's really uh, bad enough and the majority of females I try to get with tell me they're taken, or so they claim. But in the rare event that I finally get a chick's number, they never answer the motherfucking phone. Sorry if I sound livid or come off as rude, but this is one of the most, one of the numerous different reasons as to why I can't ever establish some type of friendship or active dating life with any chick let alone a long-term relationship because of lack of communication, among other things. Basically, I want you to give your opinion as to why do some girls give their phone number and then leave you hanging despite uh, their supposed interest in you. What to watch out for and how to avoid this in the future because they don't want to talk to you is not a valid excuse. I'm pretty sure it goes deeper than that. It, well... Look, here, here's the thing, too. You're going to have to learn to uh, study body language. You're going to have to learn to understand physical cues, okay? Because when a girl's not interested, a lot of the times she won't look you in the eye. She won't look at you. She, she really won't laugh at anything you have to say. And if she does, it's nervous laughter because she really wants to get away from you. She doesn't, she's not interested whether you, you know, I'm not saying you're ugly or you're ignorant or you're pressing, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is about you, she's not interested. So um, you're going to have to learn to, to do that. I learned on my own from physical cues. I can just feel when a woman is interested in me or not. Um, I don't have that issue anymore. Now, you do, there are books, there are videos that can teach you physical cues if you can't learn them on your own. Not everybody inherently knows how to read people. It's basically called reading people. You can read the situation. You know what's going on. Um, another thing is, um, you said, uh, what to watch out for. Well, that's going to be with the body language. You know, not keeping eye contact, maybe fidgeting, stuff like that. She, you know, I got to go. You know, she, she doesn't want you, she doesn't want to talk to you when she's doing stuff like that. How to avoid it in the future? Learn body language. Learn physical cues. Um, another thing is, um, what was I going to say? So interesting, you know, excuse. Um, damn. Sorry, I draw a blank. Um, uh, oh, so when you call them, let me tell you something. When I get a girl's number, I only call once. That is it. That is it. Because if she wants to talk to me, she will call back. And when they are interested in you, when they call back, they will apologize for not being available. Trust me on that. 
They'll say, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I just got out of work. I was punching out. I saw you calling, but, you know, I wanted to make sure I had time to talk to you. Shit like that. They will apologize. If you call once, she doesn't answer, make sure you leave a message. And that is it. If she never calls back, she was never really interested, and you were just an option or a possible option that was near the bottom of the fucking list, okay? I hope I've answered your question. Magnus Sites, help him out if you have any other tips, but that's it. After you get the number and you call, if she don't answer again, don't call her again. And I should say, since my 10 percenters, it's funny how y'all kind of like started that whole 10 percent uh, thing. My Magnus Cetus, my sexy ladies out there that watch Tyro Magnus. Please, girls, please. I'm telling you as a man that I personally would rather you lie to me and say you got a man than um, take my number to be nice. Because that's why y'all do it. It's to be nice. You don't want to hurt our feelings. No one likes to say no. That's why you, being a salesperson, it's hard for people to say no to me. You know, they always say, I want to think about it. That way they can get me out of the house and they don't have to say no to my face. People don't like to hurt other people. So they think it'll hurt my feelings to tell me no. Well, you know, it's part of my business. If you tell me no, it's not going to hurt my feelings. And some men are like this, ladies. I want you to understand. In their life, they see themselves as the chasers. You are the chasees. So for you to say no, it doesn't bother them. It's part of business. It's part of trying to create a relationship with a girl. If she says, I got a boyfriend, or no, I'm sorry, you're not my type, really. I kind of, you know, whatever it is, you got to say. And I understand some men and men are very persistent. Just say you have a man. And then if he says, well, can't we be friends? Say, I don't want to even have a relationship with a man that wants to be my friend while I have a boyfriend, because I know what that means. Like, tell him. Stand him up. Let him know. You know, like, look, I'm not, no. I'm not even playing that. If we, you know, so, because that says something about you um, to the woman if you are the, well, can't we be friends? Unless you actually mean it. I only said that to one girl one time, and I literally meant it. I literally meant it because I thought she was cool, yet attractive. And I asked her for a number. She was like, I was like, well, that's cool. We could be friends. She was like, ah, oh, here we go. And I was like, no, I seriously mean it. But I think I'm one in a billion. I don't think many men actually say that and really mean they want to be friends. So just if they can't respect you, then you walk off. Walk off because he can't take no for an answer. So don't give him your number. Don't. Okay. Just tell him, I got a boyfriend, or I'm not dating anyone at this time. Thank you. All right? All right? Um, that's it. I hope I've helped you, brethren. One million subscribers.